Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Behind us here, that's Lake Roosevelt. This is just the starting point for this trip. We are actually here at the Evans Camp Campground Boat Launch. It is the very end of October, 2023, and it's cold. We drove through some snow back there to get here. And while we are leaving the car here, you see it back there probably, and walking to, walking to a road cut that has calcite. Now this is a locality that we have been to before. We came here, I believe at the end of August, 2021. And there's plenty of calcite here at this locality. And I didn't collect a whole lot. I was kind of like, well, what am I gonna do with it all, right? Like, so we I collected a small amount and uh, you know, I was happy with that. Fast forward to now, I have a mid-wave UV light, and this stuff looks crazy under the UV light. Pinks, purples, blues, very, very nice. So, we're gonna walk out to the road cut, collect some more, uh, and uh, I'm curious, like, I'm not, you know, uh, visually out in the natural light, the non-UV light, you can't tell what the colors are gonna be of each piece, so I'm gonna try to See if I can suss that out a little bit. You see anything neat back there, Sarah? A bird. A bird? <laughs> Would you say that's the word? Yes. The bird is the word. Okay, let's head out to the road cut. Down there is the road cut. Here's the road going down into Evan's camp. So, uh, we walk down there now. This here is uh, the road cut. It does look like some rock came down. Let's uh, check this out. This is in uh, northern Stevens County, north of Kettle Falls. And we're pretty close to the border. We're like 30 something miles, 40 miles. So this looks somewhat fresh-ish. Like there's some of those bigger rocks I don't recall. Let's uh, head around that corner and check out if the, the seams are still there. I would say that calcite is still here, on the size of that seam. That's impressive. Maybe we'll whack out a little bit of that. There's some more up in there. Oh, hey, somebody already did a bunch of hard work for us. Oh, they've been chasing it. Yeah, this seam right here is uh, still very much so here. I guess I don't so much uh, need tools as I just need to uh, pick up some of this, but uh, yeah, so like the plan is to pick up some pieces like this and I will maybe work on that seam a little bit as well and uh, we should have a full bucket to look at in no time. Yeah? I'm, I have no problem being a scavenger, so... Be like clear or... These, obviously this is the left behind pieces. Yeah good. That's fine. Yeah. We're looking for stuff that's going to look good under UV light and uh, that is going to be different. That's a little, it could be a little different than what somebody typically might be going for in here. Yeah, so there's a, a big piece loose in here. That right there is totally loose. Um, I think maybe a couple of wax with my little pry bar here. Maybe we can get it get it out. On the other hand, I might uh, get this thing stuck. <laughs> I'm like digging dirt out from behind it.
Oh, there's some nice little pieces in here. Nice pieces all around your feet. That's kind of fun. You know, these, um, these can look very cool under the UV. I'll throw a photo in right here that I have of some of the other material and uh, we can see how colorful it is. Nothing is in there. Somebody going after here because you know, some pretty good pieces on the ground. Uh, good question. You know, maybe somebody's just going for some big chunky pieces, some specimens, something that will have nice cleavage. That's yeah, uh. There's some that are really like smooth and squared off. Yeah, some of these in here are are like that. I've gotten some out of here. Um, but yeah, it's quite abundant. <laughs> Get these things home and clean them up in some acid. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to clean them up in acid. They'll disappear if I do that. It's wiggling. It's wiggling. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to fall down and break. But... Come on. <laughs> ah, here we go. Now it's going to come down, I think. Calcite. You can carry that back. You're going to carry it back. Well, you want me to do that? <sighs> well, I have my two gallon bucket. I got my big piece. Plenty to see if this stuff is UV reactive. Got to swing a mallet some, swing the hammer. I'm happy. Let's walk down the road cut some and see if there's any material that's any different or anything of interest. I wouldn't work this scene. It's a little sketchy. Yeah, that is a little sketchy. It looks like it just wants to come off, which I'm sure it doesn't, but... Not worth it. There's a lot more. Really cool the texture on that right there. Yeah, I wonder if I can. May not may not be uh, really captured here on camera. <laughs> it reminds me of like a tide pool at the beach. Yeah, there's like a, it almost looks like what are those like? Are they like a razor clam? Yeah. Something. Maybe it, it won't do it justice, but we have the seam here and it's becoming exposed. And well, you just moved some. This thing here is covered in plant stuff. Yeah, very interesting. I'm pretty happy with this. I think uh, we'll have some very nice colorful pieces. Obviously it's very easy picking and uh, I have more than a little mini jar, specimen jar, like I got last time I was here. And uh, I have to do some cleaning of it. It is quite dirty but I'm pretty happy that we were able to get this. Thoughts?
Thoughts, Sarah? It's a very easy spot. Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, did all the work. <laughs> I am back from the Evan Camp Road Cut, and uh, I'm very happy with the pieces that we collected while we were out there. As you can see, I got some, <laughs> I tried to clean some of this stuff up, and you can kind of see within some of the blades of calcite, there's like this white gunk, <laughs> and I tried blasting it out with uh, the textile gun. I even did a little test piece with uh, a little bit of acid, and obviously being calcite, it both dissolved whatever that is, and, and the specimen. So that doesn't really work for that. But even in their kind of more blocky and dirty state, we're still, we have, there's some, there's some beautiful pieces. There's some nice pieces of calcite that you can find there. But it is more so about how these things look under the UV light. And for this test, we will be uh, using this guy here. This is my mid-wave, mid-wave, focus my mid-wave light 310 nanometer and uh, we'll turn the lights off here so that I can kind of show you a little bit what that looks like however video is not the means to capture this we want to be using long exposure photos and that is key to making making it look good so let's uh, let's hit some lights here and I'll show you what these look like I mean, you can kind of see we, we're getting some violets, we're getting some pinks, you know, um, they can look quite cool. If we want to focus, yeah, we're, you know, we're getting some nice stuff, some different variation in here. But really what it's about is the photos. So I did take the following photos right here. And uh, although it can be a little difficult to do so, uh, I think they came, some of them came out pretty good. And we can clearly see in some of these photos that we, we're getting that violet uh, kind of purple color as well as some pinks. The question is though, what is the difference? I mean, this is the same material, same vein, same everything there's clearly some trace mineral differences here. And I would like to know what that is. However, I don't have the tools at my disposal to be able to, uh, well, answer that. For that, I'm gonna have to wait until I have access to the XRF gun again, and uh, then we can have some answers to that. I, I would love to have my own XRF, but they're a little, uh, a little out of this guy's price range. But until then, um, we'll just have to enjoy these for what they are. I do think it is an interesting locality, and I'm glad we were able to go out there and uh, collect a little bit more so they can look at these under the midwave. Well, thanks for coming by, hanging out with me in the shop, watching um, what I got here. And thanks to everybody over on Patreon who support this project. Please go check out the website as well, currentlyrockhounding.com, and we will leave this one here, everybody.